Well, I'm trying to make a point. Oh, what's the point? The point is that it's a tourist trap. No, it's not a tourist trap. You just go where you want to go. You're not being trapped there. It is a trap. What's, what's so trappy about it? It is hard to imagine that less than 50 years ago there was no Cancun. At all. Only jungle, swamps, and miles of empty, deserted beaches. The total population of this area, of the entire peninsula, was three people. I'll show you what Cancun has become, and I'll tell you what I liked about it. And I will tell you what I didn't. This whole area had been deserted for the last 500 years or so. But prior to that, it was a lively happening place populated by Mayan Indians, ancient culture that combined sophistication of detailed knowledge of astrology with the brutality of human sacrifice. Knowing the exact position of Venus at any given day for a thousand years to come did not bring them prosperity. Today and for the whole next week we'll be staying in Cancun, which according to Wikipedia means the nest of snakes. Or another interpretation is the golden snake or place of a golden snake because local people a long long time ago, maybe like 5,000 years ago, were worshipping golden snakes just like Egyptians. And just like Egyptians they were building pyramids and later on we'll go and see some of the ancient architecture. Mayans did not know the will and they did not have domesticated animals. The attempt to sell us tourists what they call Mayan culture is cute, but hardly believable. Now hundreds of hotels line up the pristine beaches for 19 miles, literally hundreds and hundreds of hotels. And if it feels like Cancun is a tourist trap, it's because it is. It was designed as such, two completely separate areas, one for the regular city life with residential areas, schools, shops, restaurants, etc. And the second one for the hotels only. Locals are nowhere to be found here other than to service tourists. The 
closest you can get to the authentic Mexican culture in the hotel zone is the relentless, never-ending flow of beach merchants that walk the sand all day long. But along with innocent-looking Mexican crafts, all of them sell drugs. And they do it with the full knowledge, if not cooperation, of the hotel administrations. <laughs> Chichis is boobs in Spanish. So he was saying chicharrones, which is basically a, it has a double sense for chichis. And he says that you love chicharrones. What do you have to say about it? I, I, <laughs> I like chicharrones. <laughs> as much as Mexican culture has to offer, you will not experience any of that in Cancun. If you really want to experience a little bit of real Mexico, go to Playa del Carmen, which is only about 45 minute drive and is well worth it. And if you decide to go to Playa del Carmen and spend a few days there, definitely go to the Union Boxing Club if it is your thing and train with Mike. You're going to enjoy it. Yeah. yeah, I want to go back. Would you recommend it to others? 100%. Are you going to fight Mike? <laughs> Never. No, not my. He's got too much experience. It is funny that only 10% of tourists leave the premises of the hotel. When they say all-inclusive, they actually mean it. All you can eat is understood literally. It is in fact all you can drink. It's hard to believe, but it's absolutely true. You don't have to pay for any drink at all. You can any drink you can imagine. And when you when you give them a tip, you become their best friend, and they're trying to come up with the most elaborate, the most unusual drinks for you, colors, the most unusual flavors, the most unusual uh, drinks that you know I've never had. They give you the drinks without even you ordering drinks. And that's where you really get in trouble.
a good reason Cancun is called paradise on earth. And I will not argue that point. Endless, absolutely pristine beaches, warm turquoise blue Caribbean sea and mild weather, in winter that is, cannot be matched anywhere else in Mexico and arguably in the world. trying to make a point. Oh, what's the point? The point is that it's a tourist trap. No, it's not a tourist trap. You just go where you want to go. You're not being trapped there. It is a trap. What's, what's so trappy about it? <laughs> it's not trapped <laughs> because, because they, they want you to stay there. They want you to spend money. And... But don't you go there because you want to stay there and spend money? No, definitely. So that's not a trap when you want to go there. No, it is a trap in a way that they tell you that it's... it's um, it's a true Mexican experience, and you can you can well, do this and you can do that. But but in reality, all you can do is go to cafeteria and and uh, soak in the swimming pool. Let's say. Okay, but you're still in Mexico. Aren't you still in Mexico? Yeah. Then it's Mexican experience. If you go to the same place in Vegas, and you enjoy your drinks and soak in the pool, then you're in Vegas, baby. But now you're in Cancun. How's it related to to Vegas? No, you say it's a trap. It's uh, the, like, not Mexico. It's the same. It's the same as you go to Vegas and you go to to Venice hotel, and and the, and they have this all this um, channels and and gondola right and and this guys are singing and you think you're in in Italy. It's a tourist trap. You just trapped there to spend okay. money and to uh, to follow their I dare you vacation find, plan. I dare you find a single person in Venice Hotel in Las Vegas who thinks they're actually in Italy, Venice. So it's a uniquely Vegas experience. They, they don't know it. They they go to Las Vegas and they presented presented this whole uh, imaginary world world that has nothing to do with Venice. It's a tourist trap. Yeah, because Vegas, it has nothing to do with Venice. It's a Vegas experience. It's not like they go to Circus Circus Hotel and think they're in Circus. No, they know they're in a hotel. <laughs> All right? No, what's the definition of a tourist trap? You're asking, what's the definition of a tourist trap? The definition of a tourist trap is that when they design certain experience for you, when you think that you, that you have options, but you don't, that's a tourist trap. When you think that you can do this and you can do that and you can experience this, experience that, and that you're in the middle of everything, no, you're in the, in in the in the hotel, you're eating their food and you're swimming in their swimming pool, and that's it. Tourist trap. One of the definition tourist trap. They have to provide overpriced services. Overpriced it's, uh, services. It's totally overpriced. Everything is overpriced. I don't know. I stayed in Cancun for hundred twenty dollars a day. With ocean view and food included, is it overpriced? That was in the middle of the COVID. There's no such thing anymore. Masks were free. I've seen those masks. 